Hi, my name is Mars Puyang uh, from Jiwoo Soon Live. Today we have Boss Yor, the Senior Vice President of Danske Bank. Danske Bank, yeah. Yeah, Danske Bank is, uh, is uh, uh, one of the biggest banks in Denmark, yes? Yes, yeah, so we are we are across uh, a Nordic Universal Bank mm -hmm. with about 150 years of legacy. Wow. Having That's a impressive. huge position in Denmark, of course. Nice. Approximately 30% of market share. Nice. And then we have a challenger position in Sweden, Norway, and Finland. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. So Danske Bank, we saw that Danske Bank is supporting NHAC. Yeah. And which is so impressive. Yeah. So before we get into NHAC and Danske Bank, we want to know that are you an entrepreneur yourself? Oh, uh, I, I, or I'm, you are a entrepreneur? Uh, you want to be entrepreneur? Uh, definitely. <laughs> I have huge respect for the entrepreneurs. Nice. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, I'm out of the family who's entrepreneurs. Oh, really? Nice. Uh, the closest I get to it is that I, I used to be an entrepreneur. I've done my, I used to work with an advertising. I did an advertising agency 10 years ago. Nice. Or 15 years ago. It, it failed. It failed. And then I went into the corporate world. Nice. And uh, now I work with innovation within trying to be an entrepreneur, I guess it's called. Trying to to take all the culture and learnings of how to work yeah. as, from the startups and then deploy that into uh, how we work with underserved markets or new business opportunities within Danske Bank. Nice, perfect. Which is a great pleasure. Yeah, it is. I mean, Danske Bank, uh, it is really uh, interesting to see that Danske Bank in that level coming and helping yeah. like NHAC, which is itself is on a startup to uh, help entrepreneurs from Nordic regions yeah. taking them to here in China or from China taking some tech companies or investors to Nordic regions yeah. countries so how Danske Bank came came up with this yeah. what is, what is the reason I, I think the, 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 the journey started at least my journey with this area started three years ago three years ago where we could see that there were some structural changes in the market. Nice. Of course, we could see how quick Amazon scaled, Facebook yeah. scaled, Google scaled. Exponential growth. Yes. Yeah. And imagine then that if we only stick to the companies with 50 years mm -hmm. of experience, mm -hmm. which will be at risk of the new ones, nice. but didn't pay attention to the young ones, then they would scale with speed. So I was allowed now to start exploring how we as a bank could serve the so-called scaling companies. Mm -hmm. The first thing we did was to create a platform which is called The Hub. The Hub. The Hub. DK or the Nordic Hub.com. Nice. Which is out now in all Nordic markets where we help them with uh, attracting talents to startups. We help them with navigating around the risk capital and uh, we deploy tools for them. So if you want to do your first employee, mm -hmm. how to find a, a contract for that, or if you don't want to know how to deal with IP rights, etc. Et it's just a consulting platform. Or it's a digital it's platform where you can just, it's a, imagine it's like a marketplace. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. ensure that uh, investors and startups can meet. And at the moment, I think we have 3,000 startups in the north nice. on that platform. So nice. that was the, the beginning of the journey. Mm -hmm. And we're still running that and we are happy to do that. On top of that, we then build what is called Dance Bank Growth, which is about having advisors who understand the business models of nice. the uh, startups. And then eventually we were approached by Chris, I think in June. June, yeah. Like. And then because we have learned how to see opportunities and not waiting for long business plans to evolve, we were just happy to start jumping on, on that trip. Nice. And uh, help source the first six companies for this cohort and we were here in September when we launched it and, and we are happy to be here again. Because if, if you really want to, uh, to understand the opportunities of scalers, then you have to have a China strategy. Definitely. And not being aware of what's happening in China, then you need to do it with partners. Yeah. I think NHAC is, a, is an excellent opportunity for us to, to, uh, to do it with the experienced people. Yeah, that, that, that's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, that's admirable that what you're doing. So my question is, you, you said that this journey has started yeah. since like three years ago, yeah? Mm -hmm. So did you get any feedback? I mean, did you, do you see any good uh, result, good conclusion out of this process of, and the procedure of three years that you have been doing? I think we've, we've, we have seen that from not being present to was this segment. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's, it's actually interesting how fast you can actually be a natural part of the ecosystem nice. if you do something that has value. Exactly. So that has been a great learning. 
And then also for us not to spend years of making an Excel sheet on th then we will do this and then we will do this and then we will do this and then at the end we will make a lot of money. No. But just like many of the startups are searching for their business models. Mm -hmm. And we can now see that by doing something good we will attract the scalers to, to join us in the Nordics as their preferred bank. No. So just like Silicon Valley Bank is the place to go if you are a US based Right. Startup. We want to be the Silicon Valley Bank of, of the Nordics. Nice, awesome. Is 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 Danske Bank only is doing that for NHAC in China, or you have been in other countries? Uh, but I think as most people in the Western Nordics, we have looked a lot to the West. Yeah. So we we have a lot of uh, partnerships in US, not with an, uh, a concept like NHAC, but we have a lot of partners over there, yeah. and can help our customers bridging into that. The closest we get to that is something called Denmark Bridge, mm -hmm. Denmark. which is us together with um, a lot of other corporates and then C-level companies in the US, where we try to make that bridge. And now we uh, we have opened our eyes for China, nice. and uh, we will do much more of this, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Perfect. Is it uh, that the Danske Bank, what, what, what it's doing is in China, is only about NHAC, or you have been uh, thinking about <laughs> China's market. Uh, we we have a rib that. office in uh, in Beijing. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't have a banking license out here, but oh. we, we have an office in Beijing, in Beijing. Which, as most strategies within bank, started with us trying to help the big corporates. Yeah, that's right. And then we we lack some kind of presence in terms of smaller SMEs and and startups, mm -hmm. and that's why uh, Inhack just fits really nicely into our overall international strategy of wanting to help our Nordic companies mm -hmm. going abroad. Uh, and then INHAC can help us doing that in new ways instead of us only looking at it with uh, banking eyes. Exactly. How NHAC, I mean, how NHAC, uh, how do you see the NHAC's future? How yeah. would it be? What, what is your vision and image about that? I mean, you are one of those decision makers in that yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah. So. How do you see that vision? Where you want to go? Hopefully, we will be able to understand that we should be open for the speed of change here in China. Yeah. So now we have the Shanghai-based, and Chris and the team is already now talking about Beijing and yeah. uh, Shenzhen and other places. And for us, not to wait to be certain about results, but also seeing opportunities for now actually tapping into the opportunities within NHAC. Nice. So I do hope that NHAC will be a success and that we will continue to be a, a strong partner in that. Mm -hmm. and, and seeing the potential scale opportunities. Nice. Uh, and then I think in six months time, both you and me will be much wiser about what, what, what happened, happened to NHAC. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, I'm so impressed about the uh, speed out here. It's nice. Uh, what I see which is so admirable and it, well, I really uh, appreciate that. That is that your bank in that level is helping a kind of platform that is helping entrepreneurs yeah. to make things happen and get successful based yeah. on that. Yeah. I really appreciate for Thanks. your presence here Thanks. and thank you so much and hope we can have you again and again and again. Thanks a lot. Thank you for coming. And You're uh, welcome. Yeah. Hope uh, you often come to China, yes? My, my, my last visit was back in 1994, wow. so I couldn't actually say that I'm, I'm a frequent guest, yeah. but uh, hopefully in the future I'll be here more frequent. Yeah, I hope that we can uh, have you again in our session. I really appreciate yeah. for Thank your you. talk, for your points, and that's an honor. Thank you.